Good morning, folks. This year has been quite the downtick for tornadoes, at least in the United States. While such twisting destruction has made its way around the world in the last 12 months, the nation known for tornadoes has been in a bit of a drought. Last week was our first real taste of the season, and today I say to you, it's fully back. Last night, tornadoes touched down in multiple areas. There's millions in damage. As of 4 a.m., there were still a lot of people without power, dozens hurt, and luckily the fatalities were at a minimum. I'll be coming back to tornadoes later in the news. First day of Quake Watch since our last attempt, which failed, was an actual moderate success. We had a 6.8 earthquake just strike the West Chile Rise. I'm sure downgrades are coming. But folks, there may be a better Quake story. Focus on the list at the left. Are you noticing any kind of pattern? Can't say every large quake yesterday hit the Kamchatka Peninsula, but it was close, and there were a ton of them. I'll come back to our general Quake Watch a bit later in the news, but folks, this area is highly unstable. South Pacific watch zones for weather are largely over western and northwestern Australia with a tip southeast at Melbourne as well and Northland New Zealand. Remember folks, no matter where in the world you are, the link list in the description box below this video has your satellite and severe watch sites. In Europe, heavy rain and thunder pushed into Germany and Poland. It'll move on as the next one creeps in behind her. You're looking here on the left at the convergence that caused the tornadoes in the U.S. last night. The low pressure cell is holding his ground and still driving counterclockwise, creating that convergence south at the leading edge where warm moist air comes north to collide with cool drier air that's whipped around the western edge south around to meet its polar opposite. Expect their meeting in the yellow zone today, producing a lot more dangerous weather. Most of you remember we expected CME impact yesterday. We got it, but not at the levels we expected. Green shows plasma temperature rising along with speed in yellow, but density in orange shows it was a very thin blast. Up at the top line of the ACE telemetry, you can see the red has not tipped south at all since impact, although energy is building up near the top of the graph. Magnetopause standoff distance, climbing as geosynchronous orbit gets a little less dicey, plasma penetration slows to a halt, rest produced no geomagnetic storm, but the wake of that CME is on the menu today. Proton flux, still elevated, but still falling from storm levels. The red polar readings on the DRAP are fading to orange and out over the next event. Looking at the sunspot set we got to know last week, turning away now with that delta spot still leading the maker of the X flares, but in decay and totally without a voice since facing Earth. We'll take a look at its decay right now. It's the last one all jumbled up, popped the flares, but it is now decayed to all but gone. A quick note. You can also notice damage to the SDO camera here. Not sure the extent to which these lines will ultimately affect performance, but this is static as the sun moves, so it's on the camera or the lens itself. Much to our surprise with the fading sunspot was the flaring uptick. A C9 struck midday, and while I slept, an M flare erupted on the sun, and the flaring is on the upward trend once more. Here's the thing. They came from spots on the limb. Once again, for pretty much two years, it only happens on the limb or the backside and the flaring quiets when facing Earth. And for the love of all, please, no comments that God or aliens are stopping the flaring. Not only is it wrong, but it makes you sound a little silly because the flares are not bad. Earth needs them, with the exception of the mega flare, of course. So unless you think those aliens or God is trying to kill us, shoot again, tiger. I'm guessing God or ETs don't work that way. Umbral Field is wide open right now. Here comes the coronal hole down south. And okay, yesterday he was just screwing with me, tried to close up. But even with that closing, it does appear that the left side of the hole was going to face Earth last night. It did. Got a big quake. And the one up north will indeed swing in today as well. Neither are on the equator, but the quake watch is going to continue for a few days with energetic flux adding to the solar magnetics. Eyes open. No fear, it's 6.35 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.